Here's an example of setting up a hypothesis testing problem. Consider the claim that the average weight of airline passengers, including carry-on baggage, is at most 195 pounds. We're going to follow a four-step procedure outlined in these next few slides to set up the testing for this claim. We'll be identifying the null hypothesis as well as the alternative hypothesis. The first step is to express the claim as in symbolic form. The claim that the mean is at most 195 pounds can be expressed in the symbols using the letter mu and 195 pounds and at most means less than or equal to. Step two is to express the opposite of the claim. And the opposite of the claim can easily be found by rewriting the same two symbols, namely mu and 195, and then selecting the inequality sign that has the opposite direction as the inequality sign in the claim. And for a less than or equal to symbol, the opposite would be greater than, because the arrow points the other direction, and since the claim had an equal sign, the opposite will not have an equal sign. Now that we have the claim and the opposite of the claim written symbolically, the next step is to identify the null hypothesis. And it's easy to do that if you just simply look for the equal sign. The statement that has the equal sign is the null hypothesis, and we denote it with the h subscript 0. Finally, step 4 is to identify the alternative, which is the statement that does not have an equal sign.